Forty years ago, January 1978, delegates from Manitoba and Saskatchewan met in Cranberry Portage. Uh, today and yesterday, for the first time since, the cabinets of the Manitoba Métis Federation and the Métis Nation Saskatchewan met in Regina to discuss what has happened over the past 40 years and also look at how we can move into the future of significant uh, di discussion was the existence of the Métis as a distinct people and the threat that is upon us from other peoples now coming forward saying they're Métis, particularly from Eastern Canada. And as well, we need to deal with issues within the Métis Nation itself. We reviewed resolutions from 2017, which dealt with the year 2020, where the Métis Nation is going to be celebrating its 150th anniversary of joining Confederation as a people, as the fifth province of Canada, the province of Manitoba. As well, we dealt with uh, the situation of non-Métis within the Métis National Council and how that is going to be addressed. The two cabinets had full, free and informed discussions about where they want to go and have taken directives to their leadership as to what position should be taken going forward. It was really very significant in terms of you know, the leadership from Saskatchewan and Manitoba getting together to discuss the future. And of significance, they signed a Regina Declaration, which sets out uh, aspirational goals, but also set out the plans to work together to help in shaping the future of the Métis nation. Very, very significant. They also looked at and examined the geographic homeland of the Métis nation. And in this vein, they did discuss and they did agree to the uh, geographic boundaries of the historic Métis Nation, which, you know, they will be taking forward in various uh, venues. There was discussion as well about where do we want to go as people into the future and how do we want to operate. So there is strong discussion about relocating our government to the Red River by 2020, establishing a permanent national assembly there, and more importantly, ensuring that in the future, only the Métis Nation will speak for its own people and will not allow others to influence the direction of, of our people. So they have agreed that they will engage in further meetings and as time goes on, move towards the establishment of the permanency of the government again at the Red River, ensuring that uh, as we move forward, we deal with common principles like a national acceptance process in terms of registering our citizens, and also a political document, a constitution which will guide us into the future. I would say this has been a very great success. The people were very animated, and at the conclusion, we're very happy at the success.